Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. Somebody was making fun of me about my intros. Where I say hello and welcome back. Maybe I'll stop saying it. Maybe you won't even get an intro anymore. People like to talk crap. You know what? That's okay. Maybe I won't do it anymore. I wasn't prepared to record. I'm gonna let you know. Jenna, why would you record? Uh, repaired. Uh, listen. See how I quick question the screen freezes? Normally, before I start recording, I do this, so I get the systems going. You get those juices flowing, and there's no juices in the computer, but you know what I'm saying? You guys want to try out something cool? All right, let's do it. Go to options, go to video settings, go to go to shader packs. Which one? Ultra fast, go, apply. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. oh! Oh, dude, the game runs like crap. <laughs> so that's why I wasn't using shaders with this mod pack. Oh, man, the game runs like utter garbage. We'll try another one. Complimentary Unbound, Reimagined, Euphoria Patches. Let's do this one. Apply. Yeah, I was messing with shaders and some of the other stuff. I don't know if you know, me and my buddy were playing some modern Minecraft together via LAN network, which was pretty cool. I didn't know about it. I didn't really think about it, right? Uh, Minecraft has a LAN system, local area network, that was introduced way, way, way back in the day. So, like, they just never took it out. I got no idea why, which is cool that they didn't. If you know what Hamachi is, VPNing, LANing. Game runs better. It still runs like crap. I mean, look at the farm fields. It's got reflection. Oh, man. This is how I'm going to start taking the thumbnails just to make you think this is a better experience than it actually is. Be like, look how tall that sugar cane is. Go take a picture of this house. Be like, what a house. Single screenshot looks incredible, but the game runs like dog crap. Doesn't run like complete dog crap, but it definitely runs like dog crap. Oh, yeah, 20 frames. But, uh, Hamachi multiplayer, it is cool. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. What are we doing? Evil craft today. So, we have to go to an ominous biome because evil craft, a ominous biome. We're going to combine evil craft with occultism because I feel like those just go together. You know what I'm saying? But before then, we do got to look at armor. I have no pants. I need pants. Uh, Jadog, how is this doing? It's the same. I made some more terracotta blocks over here just with wood generation. So if I need wood, might as well just take a stack real fast. Inventory is still freaking crapped, screwed up. And farming life is farming life. If we ever need food, we can just come over here and like be like, oh yeah, what do I want? Ooh. Maybe I want some of this wheat dough. Put it back in there. Put it in the fridge. Put it in a bun. Maybe you give me new recipes like pie crust. I don't freaking know. Make pie crust, make pie. So simple, so simple. We gotta go snowball some grove quickly. And then we gotta make some pants. I don't have any pants, so we're making pants. I don't I feel like pants are kind of an important thing to have. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I like pants. You know what I mean? I don't like my bits jangling around and stuff. Pants. Now, how do I make pants? I never did it before. You just gotta get seven of any base material and you get pants, huh? What can I do? What can I? Is my game busted? What the fudge? What the hell? Freaking Chancellor Justin the Ultimate has awoken nearby. What the heck is he doing, bro? The Chancellor? I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't prepared for this. What are we making these pants out of, man? Lapis? Lapis pants? What about some obsidian pants? Armor durability. Minus 37. Or times 37. Yeah, legging six defense. This just makes the most sense to me, bruh. You think about armor, you think about what's that freaking, what's the go to this thing you can make, and you go, obsidian. Yeah, 
obsidian pants. Part? What do you mean part? Oh, you motherfucker. What the hell? How do I put these on? I need lining? <laughs> okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Dude, where did my freaking pants recipe go? Why do I just lose stuff all the time? Pants, shield, lining. It looks like a it looks like a Hermes boots. What do I do with this? Wool. Oh man, I need one material of any particular material that has lining. So this is how you do it. Jijog, how you do it? You say, look, lining. Well, Jidog, nothing has lining. Did I spell that wrong? My lining. Right, beautiful. And then you double click it. You go, what the heck, Jidog? You look at here, you go, boom. I don't have anything that can act as lining because there's no wool in this damn chest. Excuse me, sure. Leather for lining? What does it do? Tell me about yourself. Flexible four. Honestly, bro, that's what I really needed. Wool? What are you doing as lining, my dude? Flexible two. Increase knockback resistance. Really? Phantom gear is lining? What are you doing? Light. Armor increases movement speed? What? <laughs> yes. Yes, I take this. That's all I needed. How come I can't line it with snow? I want snow lining. Gerald, you sound a little nasally right now. I just want to formally apologize to you, dear viewer, for my nasalness. There's not too much I could do about it because I just woke up. And for some reason, when I just wake up, my body be like, get up, get fucked. Obsidian pants with 555 durability. Unbreakable. I feel like Optimus Prime. Autobots, roll out. Why does he say it like that? No one may never know. The next time you and I meet, it's gonna be in this biome over here. Oh, dude, there's a freaking city next to him, Arachazoid. Do I have everything I need? No, I don't. I'm really glad I asked that question. Let me grab all the stuff, and I'll meet you there. Okay, we're supposed to be in the biome, but we're not in the biome because I gotta go freaking fight off uh, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren's dead. Hi ho, hi ho. Off to the land we go. Hi ho, hi ho. We found our land to go. We're in this biome of evilness where the trees have eyes and they got lips. Wither Rose. Regular Minecraft. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I'm supposed to get hit again. What a beautiful base. What a beautiful location. What a beautiful biome. It's perfect for all of my evil needs. Mwa ha 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 Where am I making the base? The base, the base. Ow. I gotta stop standing in these wither roses, man. Was this tree? Why does it look dead? Oh, it's dead. Dead log. This tree, Umbran, hmm? Is this like a corrupt tree from Terraria, dog? Is it the same thing? Was this one? Was this tree? Illwood from Eidolon Repraised. Eidolon, Eidolon. I've heard that word before. Ooh. Pebble from the Twigs mod. Tell you what, give me this one. Paxel? Multi purpose all in one tool? Excuse me, sir, did you give me some of the Umbrum seeds? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, crap. You see these botany flowers? They're mine. These are my botany flowers. I could go make diocese with uh, the other mod, Infernium Enhanced. I don't know what the mod's called, dog. Agriculture. I need a nice location. Top of the hill. See, the issue is this biome, it is large. It's larger than the other crap I found. But it's still small in regards to what is large. So, if 
I put it at the top of a hill, I'm like, it's going to break what seems to be a large, like that, that sensation, like, oh, it's a large bottom. Yeah, I like this hill. This is the spot. That's, that's what a loser looks like. Me. Oh, I got one of the trees. Let's go. I got to go all the way up there, dude. Crap. 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 And it's cleared out. Let's go. Waystone placed. I got a bunch of stuff in the inventory. Look, I'm sick of these traders, man. They're pissing me off. Making me mad, showing up, bothering me and crap. I got a quest completed. All right, all right. So we are currently in this biome, all right, of, of, of ominous woods. Now, J-Dog said, how are we going to build a house? Well, we're going to build a house out. Because you know I love building freaking houses, man. But the problem is, what are we going to build it out of? So I went ahead and searched up evil craft and occultism. Because those are two mods we want to do over here. They're kind of the same thing, but they're also kind of different. There are a couple blocks. Undead wood. Uh, craft. There was some other one. You take the dark blocks, these ones, you combine them with stone, you make a, you make a dark brick. These look real nice. I don't even know what they look like. I can't even see them, but they look real nice. I want this block. Now, this block is acquirable. It's just take the dark gems and you do the thing. But what else can I do with dark gems? Your weather container, inverted potentia, obscured glass, right? There's a lot of things I can do with this resource that I don't want to consume it too, too much just for building blocks. Otherwise, we got to go mining it. Who wants to go mining? Not me, dude. Not me. Four eternal water buckets, a blood extractor. So the two mods we're looking at right now are, are evil craft and occultism. J Dog, how is this information relevant? Thank you for asking. I love it when you participate in conversation. Go to quests. Go to the side. You scroll down to magic. Evil craft, occultism. These are the two mods we're looking at for the magic stuff. Apotheos is enchanting a little bit. Arsenal Val, we're not touching blood magic. I hate blood magic. Just the concept of it. But Tania is, is, is too much. I don't know nothing about Eidolon or Forbidden in Arcanus, but we're touching evil craft and occultism. We gotta start somewhere, eh? My game just crashed again? What have I done? Oh, nope, it was just taking a while to load up. Maybe it was the music. How strange. The flames of the other world, spirit fight conversion, hunting for other world materials. It's got some other stuff. So, demon mining. Early on, it did mention that occultism has an ore duplication system. So, we go mining, we get a higher number of ores. Now, I don't know how good it is, but evil craft has werewolves. You know I fucking love werewolves. Welcome to Evilcraft. Evilcraft is a magic mod based on somewhat evil things. Collecting the blood of your enemies and harness the power of an ancient source of evil. Everything in this mod can be found in this guidebook, The Origin of Darkness. To get started, find yourself some dark gems. That is the third Origin of Darkness book I got, bruh. I got too many of these damn books. I think the other one's in a chest. Boom. Beautiful. Whoops. Visit a dark temple. These are hard to miss considering they have a massive beam coming from the center. In the center of a dark temple, it is is a environmental accumulator. We can use this to empower and create several items that we'll need along the way, including lightning bombs. Collecting blood. To start collecting blood, we need to craft the blood extractor. As long as you have this in your inventory, killing mobs will collect blood in the extractor. Blood is an important resource in evil craft. Need to increase the storage of the extractor? Simply make another and then combine them in the crafting grid. These can also be used to extract blood from blood stains you find or create on the ground. Lastly, with enough blood stored, you can sneak right click on the ground to place a bucket of blood down. Make a blood extractor. We need spikes. Easy day. We are going to come over here. We're going to get rid of all of this stuff for now. It'll probably come back later. We're on that evil. We're on that evil stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's start off with making a crafting table. Tent bench, crafting bench. 
and then we'll make spikes. I mean, iron. Yeah, he makes it, and then he does the other thing anyways. Ah, what's the point? What's the point? Maybe I should make four of these. I only have, oh, like, I only have nine iron here, bro. What the heck? Like that. Let me shove those back in there. Nope. Blood extractor. Any regular glass. We'll just make one. Because by completing the quest, it gives you another one. And then you're going to combine those. An evil craft, a basic reward. A dark gem, thank you. And then it says you can combine them. Easy day. Hold inventory when slaying mobs. Shift right click to extract or auto supply. Don't know nothing about nothing. Storing fluids, spiky claws, optional. Collecting blood stains, revenge of the spirit, drying blood, infusing gems with blood. There's a whole blood thing. What the heck? Vein sword, undead trees, vengeance pick, blood brooms. Have you ever wanted to be able to attack things with a shovel and it hurt? I would <laughs> I would ask why, but this is evil craft. Well, look no further. This serves as both a weapon and a tool for breaking soft things. The spiky claw. Now listen, I'm going to tell you right now. This spiky claw, most worthless piece of crap I've ever seen in my entire life, brother. You know, I could probably find everything just in the side right here. Why am I doing things so hard? Every time. There's a tool. <laughs> it's so stupid. Well, I guess we don't have a diamond shovel anymore. Oh, man. My inventory. I'm hurting. Condensed blood. Let's go. Easy day. Easy day. These things are so easy to make. What is the difference between these recipes? Oh, dark blocks. 144,000 megabytes? Megabytes? <laughs> MB? Megabuckets? Millibuckets? What the fuck? <laughs> Did mop hit the floor too hard and get its blood of Oh no. Anyway, you can use a sangu 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 sanguinary pedestal to absorb that precious blood for later use. Want to automate collecting blood? Place a spiked plate on top of that pedestal, then have a mob stand on it. Very bizarre. Revenge of the spirit. Mm. Vengeful spirit. We've been doing this. Their essence seems to be useful in crafting more advanced items of evil craft. Not finding many spirits. Make a vengeance ring and toggle it on to attract more spirits during your battles. I've been finding these things while we're mining. Let's check out this book after I take a nap. Jado, you didn't even build up a building yet. Listen, if we can find the blocks, there's no reason to build the building when we're doing basic crafting. Okay, we got to find the block stuff. Preface. Do you enjoy reading in Minecraft? Because I hope you do. Because I talk a lot. It would seem this world holds more than meets the eye. There are things I will conclude in this book. My writings have acquired knowledge of the obscurity that resides here. I have discovered a dark way of the living, of living with the creatures of this world. What evil will come of this? I ask myself. Evil lurks in every corner. I hear a dark voice within me reply. I have discovered a few secrets within this vast world of silly villagers and zombies. Something their puny minds will never comprehend. Many kinds of magic exist in this world. But the kind you can achieve with blood seems different. I've noticed people cutting themselves for obtaining blood. I prefer to spare my strength for some other things. That's the preface. Structure. This book split into two major parts. For the two ages of evilness. I like to classify everything in... I consider everything before my coming to this world as the first age. And my life's work the second age. You can navigate through this book by clicking on the arrows at the bottom. Shift-click will flip through the whole sections instead of single pages. At the start of large sections, you will need... You will see a content table which contains hyperlinks to its subsections for faster browsing when you come across recipes. The items that are explained in this book are clickable as fast recipes. Reference to the section. They are explained and you will also notice a button on the top left of the book that will take you to a section above your current one. The button at the top right corner will go back to the previously visited page each time it has been clicked. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. I will read all of this. Holy shit, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? I click... Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I click first age. And then I get this. And then I click on the strange new world. And then I get this.
Werewolf. <laughs> I can't. Oh man. Oh, where the fuck I am? Whoa! My dog's going off. My dog's going off. Okay, I'll. I don't know if I'll be able to read all of it. I'll read some of this off cam right now. Whilst I was exploring this world, I have taken rest in many villages. One of the towns I rested in had a strange-looking fellow, and I started to talk to him, and it soon struck me he was not as interested in emeralds as the other people in this town. In fact, he started asking more and more questions about the dark ore I had discovered. We talked away hours and hours. He was so keen about getting his hands on them and other objects I have discovered that we ended up trading things for most of the rest of the day. When night had fallen, he took me into his house in the village, and he said I was most welcome to spend the night in his spare bedroom. I said I already rented a room at the local inn, but thanked him for his kindness anyway. As I crawled into bed in the inn, I took a last glance at the moon, as I usually do before going to sleep, and I saw it was a nice full moon. As I closed my eyes, all of a sudden I heard a loud distressed shout, and after that a wolf-like growl. The whole village was looking through their windows, and we saw a tall wolf walking on its hind legs. Everyone cowered in fear, but I, without fear, no doubt, took up my trusty dagger and gave it a pretty good beating. It was a very strong creature. His fur will make a nice memento to his great fight. When I woke up the next morning to conclude my trading session of the day before, my strange trading friend had taken a leave. There were claw marks all over his house, and there was blood on the floor. I still wonder if the strange wolf ate him, or if perhaps he was a werewolf. As the villagers gossip on, it looks like I can convert his drops to regular items, then just place them inside a crafting table. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, outside of just reading a bunch of random information, there are some tools. A wooden exalted crafter. Now listen. I'm just going to say right now, some bullshit. Assume. Assume. Akumi. Wooden. Exalted crafter. A button. Click. I'm missing. Try again. You know, you just, you just try to try what, what, what does LC always say? When you fail, try and try again. Does anybody know what that's from? No. Just me. Okay. What was the last thing I needed? Freaking crafting table, bro. You need more crafting tables. I'm all out of wrath. Wow! Shift click. Ooh! Okay, so now, if I wanted to activate this one specifically, Jedi, why is this cool? It works the exact same way as the backpack. It works the exact same way as this thing. <laughs> but it also has a chest of inventory space, which is where the value lies. So, oh, Jedi, you're doing evil craft stuff? <laughs> oh, guess what? <laughs> the only real negative is... um. I just, I gotta bind it with a hot key and this and that, and it's just very, very ugh. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'll just leave it equipped for now. I don't know if it'll actually stay equipped. Belt or body slot. That's my belt slot. With a tool belt, because if we find something else, it was my slot. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, anyways, back to the grind. Here we go again. We gotta make this ring again. Easy day. Easy day. Might attract or summon vengeful spirits. Shift, right click to toggle boost. We don't want to boost it, but we do want to equip it. Now, remember how when we look at stuff, it says vengeful spirit, but we can't do anything about it. Now we can we can at least see it <laughs> more. Uh, yeah, catching spirits is the next one. I'll read it and give you a prenup something. All right, so we just made the ring. All the ring does is let you see, and now we can just upgrade it to eventual focus, which lets you actually catch them. Uh, the negative is, if you you can boost the vengeance ring to summon them, but we can't do anything about it. And box of eternal closure. Oh, we could craft that. Now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, we can't make ender chests. Yeah, like that's impossible. We could do that. Which contains them. This also contains them. Weird. Uh, I think it'll be fine. So all I got to search is focus. I got to take this ring off my inventory. Hold on. 
Oh, this crush dark gem, by the way. I'm like, I probably got it from, I don't know, doing something weird. You get the crush dark gem specifically from using fortune on the dark gem ore. I did read that in the book. Ah, I see. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that does. It's crazy looking, though. There's some dude over here, bro. He's a straight he's a straight punk. Sorry about that noise. Me and my brother were doing something. Creeper ain't gotten. He's an illusioner. You bastard. I think I forgot who you are. I remember he illusioner pillager. It's the same damn thing, dude. These guys showing up, making me blind. I can't see nothing. Pull out a bow and arrow, go invisible, make freaking some bull crap. Look like Mirage from Warframe. Shit. Try to get back to just reading. Oh my god, there's another one. One of the negatives of using this dagger. If I just one shot him with a big ass heavy weapon, he'll just be dead. No, I gotta use a dagger. Did I? Why you gotta use a dagger? We gotta use a crap weapon, did I? <laughs> Ventral spirit? Excuse me? Excuse me, ventral spirit? I can't see the ventral spirit. Hello? I got this thing. Oh, it's gone. <sighs> Maybe I have to make another one of these rings. I'm reading this book. It wants me to make even more of the rings. What's the ring is? R-I-N-G. You don't got no iron in me. Make one more ring for now. The game wants me to make more, but for right now, I'll just make the one. I gotta equip it. Yes! Now I can see them spirits again. Back to reading. I killed this spider, and you got this vengeful spirit, right? You got this focus. Am I doing something wrong? Trying to get some sucky sucky. Does it not work because I don't have a container in my inventory? At least I can see the spirit this time, man. He's looking crazy. Yeah, maybe it's because I don't have a container that he's not doing it. Or maybe the mod's broken. One way or the other, we're going to find out eventually, though. <laughs> Can't kill him. He's too powerful. It's crazy. Bro, I've been reading like crazy, man. Apparently there's flying brooms in this bad boy. It's just so much going on. Sorry about the noises. My uh, my brother's still talking to me. He's uh, a steam. I've been talking to this guy for like an hour. It's crazy. I'm trying to record Minecraft and he's bugging me and I just wanted to record Minecraft, bro. Minecraft is so good. I'm taking damage. Help. Oh, it was the spirit. It mentioned that spirits will damage you. It did say that. Modifiers on the broom. We'll, we'll worry about the broom stuff in a little bit. <laughs> We're on tools right now. Go back again. How am I doing? <laughs> tools. <laughs> oh, boy. i just been reading, man. It sucks. I have finished reading the entire book. Holy cow, all of it. Every single individual thing in that book has just been read and shoved into my cranial cavity so I can understand it. Jidduk, what does that mean? Okay, listen, there are two to three blocks that we can potentially utilize. One such block, all right, is, let's go ahead and toss this. Obviously, one of the most important things is building. Uh, it's the dark blocks converted into, um, excuse me, sir. It's a dark block converted into the stone ones. What the hell? You for uses. And then it should show up with the uses properly, not breaking. There we go. That was weird. The pencil here has some use. Uh, let me see. The game is not working. Where are they? Where are my standard blocks? Oh, here they are. These. I don't know why my game is lagging so bad right now. Evil bricks. Sometimes Minecraft be like, oh, we're just not going to work for no particular reason. I'm I'm really sick of these. You're lucky this berry's messing me up, kid. So the vengeful spirits, I'm not... 
I think I have to make the, uh... This thing captures them, but I don't have a box to store them in, so it can't do anything. So I gotta make the box, which means I need ender pearl to make an ender chest, and I can't make that because I don't think I have any ender pearls. I, I might have one back at base, but it's not a big deal. I don't find too many, um, dudes. You know what I'm saying? Too many endermen. Ars Naval. Ars Naval. Ars Naval. I'm in this banner. Trash. Trash. Um... There are other things in the in the in the in the mod pack such as blood chest, such as uh, environmental accumulator. The other resource besides uh, the dark blocks, the blood bricks, dark dark bricks that we could utilize are um, undead wood. Uh, but that one's a little weird, so we don't have access to much blood yet. Okay, we got ten buckets of blood. I don't know how the fuck that happened. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a lot of blood. Um, how many, I don't have, a, I don't have an infinite number of these crystals. So here's what we're going to do with this building. Cause I got to make a base for both evil craft and occultism. I don't want to do that, right? Cool. Make, make building, make building. It's so cool. Uh, so when we do it, make it here, we got to have basis of blocks. We are going to use this ominous wood, this umbral wood. Cause it looks real nice. And I will go ahead and make some. I want to say stone brick blocks as well as like an accent block. It'll be very dark. We should use like some red stuff too because like blood is a basis for it. A little strange. I know. So I think the building will look good. I'll do it real fast. Um, I do need some kababali. Tough. It don't look so tough to me. Excuse me, sure. Sort, sort, please. Cobblestone. Cobbled a deep slate. See, see, I don't... I don't think cobbled deep slate does what I need to do, and there's no cobblestone in here. Why is it like this? If I take cobbled deep slate and I cook it, do I get regular stone? About to find out. This time. Nope, we get regular deep Quit, quit. What do I do with this? Can I make brick with it? Large bloodstone brick. Blood magic. Yeah, evil craft has blood magic in it. Evil craft is heavy on the blood part. Which is one of the things, like, that's why I don't like, like oh yeah, I'm using evil craft because it's evil craft. But blood magic? What the heck? So evil craft has a werewolf. The whole thing with the werewolf was like he killed the werewolf and then it gave him like some standard drops. <laughs> and that was it. There was no werewolf transformation. Well, this sucks. This sucks hard. It would be very easy for me to go get a bunch of cobblestone. Ah, whatever. That'll have to do. Um, the mod doesn't have... So, Evilcraft itself... I should look at occultism as well. But Evilcraft itself doesn't have uh, furnaces in it. It does, but it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It has a chest, but it's a blood chest. It's not a regular chest. It has a unique effect. So, I read, I know all about this mod. I know what every single thing on this screen does without fail. I know I've, I know about all this stuff, okay? Let's go look at occultism. Let's your dog talk about it fast. Blood infuser infuses things with blood. Let's take out undead trees. Undead trees, this is a fortune five pickaxe. This is a looting two sword that gives you extra blood on kill. Brooms fly, requires blood to run. Uh, capturing spirits is kind of something we need to do. Uh, there's a feature in the game where you capture a mob spirit like a zombie spirit or a spider spirit You put it in its container and then you can constantly revive and kill it for loot over and over and over again Just utilizing blood uh, This shit right here. I don't really understand this There's temples in the game you go to the temples They give you unique blocks and you get a limited amount and they do stuff you need lightning I didn't really comprehend that too. Well. Well, there's your rundown of evil craft Doesn't feel very evil rejuvenated flesh is infinite food that you just replenish with blood Let's look at occultism. Dreaming of demons, XP. 
Welcome to Cultism. This mod aims to help the player in many different ways by enlisting the help of demons, not demons, spirits. Don't worry, they are friendly, mostly requires demon seeds. We got that. We got this book, Dictionary Spirit Serves as a Guide for Occultism. You'll absolutely need to make this if you want to continue with this mod. The dictionary has a quest style guide inside of it if you'd rather read it instead of doing these quests. You'll also need the book to craft several things in this pack, so you have to kind of make it. Demon fruit, which we have acquired. Demon fruit, demon fruit is perfectly healthy for you. There might be some side effects. You should know about that. When you consume one, you have a chance to get the effect of the third eye, allowing you to see into the other world. Certain items in the world might not be what they seem, and you'll need this vision to find certain items for progression, or you can set it on fire and skip finding most of them. That's up to you. The flames of the other world. If I told you that the demon's fruit is flammable, throwing our demon's dream fruit down and setting it on fire will create spirit fire. This is how you will convert some overworld items into other world items. It's also very pretty. Alrighty, occult saplings. Ooh. Divination rod. Okay, so for occultism, before we even get into this book of craziness. Oh, it works the same as the other stuff. Dope. Dope. It's dope. Lifting the veil. We. It's weird because we're kind of going in between both of them. We're going to skip reading that. The third eye, you can eat them. One in three chance to get in the third eye, just eat more of them to see beyond the veil. You can also do spirit fire or something. Healing spirits, right click on a spirit with a demon's fruit to heal it. This will work on familiar summoned spirits and also possessed mobs. When compressing demons, dream demons, fruits, or seeds into essence, a much stronger constant healing effect can be achieved. This comes from the cost of efficiency, feeding nine fruits to a spirit in succession. We heal it more than feeding it nine fruits from the demon's dream essence. It burns spirit fire on fire. Probably best to get some nether racks for infinite demon fire. It'd probably be the best thing to do. The main uses of spirit fire are convert diamonds to spirit attuned gems to get basic ingredients such as other stone and other world saplings and to purify impure chalk. Andesite goes in and becomes other stone. Oak saplings becomes oak saplings. There's a cult variation. Wood becomes ashes. Diamonds becomes spirit attuned gems. Am I? Oh, you can just do this. A lot more reading is entailed. That said, uh, let's get a flint and steel. We did make some white. We did make some white candles. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Um, that being said, let's go ahead. We have the demon's fruit. We're growing it at the farm. Genius. Genius. Can I make a flint and steel? I probably can't. I don't carry flint on me. That'd be a weird thing to carry. Flint and steel. It's been so long since I made a flint and steel Minecraft, bro. I thought I was going to make it backwards. I need... I need... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Before I go forward, I need a regular oak sapling. Is this correct? I need a regular oak sapling. This, see, this is the problem with this game. Lucky me, I just have oak saplings lying around. I know exactly where a bunch of oak trees are. Just over there. Oh, I got an idea. Go look at this. Now I recall. I remember I was growing oak saplings over here for the very purpose of this right here. Uh, in case uh, in case I ever needed oak because it's the basic resource most mods use. Oh, would you look at this? They seem to have been already harvested. How very strange. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, what the heck is this? What's What the heck is this going on over here? Uh, last time uh, I pressed F10 on the video, and I pushed F10 is my pause button for OBS. I also pushed F9 at the same time, which is my record button for OBS. So it was trying to pause and stop the recording at the same time, which caused OBS to malfunction. And it told me it was still recording for the entire duration that I was recording. So I made the rest of the episode. And then, uh, and then now we're here. So, you missed like 20 minutes of stuff where I just made some blood infuser and did a couple of evil craft things and uh, occultism things. Give you a rundown. Did I give you a I'll give you a rundown real fast. Let's see here. Magic mods are so cool. So, we collect blood with this thing. I made this thing over here, which is really hard to use. An enemy stands on it and it puts blood into the pedestal. But like I said, it's super hard to use. Uh, there's some specky claws, which are crap. You, you get you get collected blood 
by killing things with this blood extractor, right? It extracts the blood. Then you take said blood and you place it down, and then it hardens, and you mine it with a flint and steel, and it gives you uh, a hardened blood shard. And then you made a blood infuser, and now we can infuse the blood. I don't know, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. I really need to fix my inventory. <laughs> it's so messed up. Oh, man. Somebody suggested that we make a bunch of different bases and a bunch of different biomes, and I think it's a great idea. I love the idea of exploration and variation. I like the idea of going out. You know, you get these different views of darkness and stuff, and the snow and the farm. I love the farm. Said it's like such a great base. But there are some heavy negatives associated with doing it. That's these chunks at the farm base aren't loaded, so the, the farm stuff isn't growing. These aren't running 24-7 like they should be because I'm never near them. Um, regardless of all that. Ah, yes. Beauty. Beauty. Otherworld ashes. Dark oak planks. Cactus. Cactus in your asses. Jakarta? Can I even toss most of these? I don't think I can. I should go put a occultism thing down over there. Freaking divination rod. You guys weren't there for that. Oh my god. I made this divination rod and I have to tune it to andesite. I need andesite for otherworld freaking rock and I can't. I can't do it. It's not possible. But without the andesite, I need, I need andesite to find andesite and I can't make andesite. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't know what you're saying. I fucking knew you didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. For real though, let's, uh, let's make some progress in this mod. So there was another problem I was having. So in Evilcraft, you collect spirits, all right? Now, vengeance essence you get from killing spirits. Okay, I have to kill them. Spirit has to be killed by a player. Now, the problem I was having is that to kill the spirit, where is it? Is it even in here? It's in the book. Um, nope. Display stand, that's not it. Humanoid flesh. After death? Abusing spirits? Killing spirits. I have to make this thing to kill spirits. So I need a bunch of end crystals to kill spirits. <laughs> what? I'm freaking quest locked because I can't get vengeance essence. Is that true? Yeah, dog. Nothing in the game uses vengeance essence. Yet. This does. Which is way over here. It's so strange. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Regardless. Uh, let's go to Evilcraft base. I gotta go play some chests down. Beep. Double chest me. They say, to me, to me, she left me for all the right reasons. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We said that in the military, man. I was in boot camp, and I was in the Navy. And we'd have to do a Nabisco fold. Do you know what a Nabisco fold is? When we would do the Nabisco fold, there was this little thing you'd say to remember it. And you'd say, to me, to me, she left me for all the right reasons. And that's how you'd fold it. You'd fold, like, to you all the way, and then all the way again, so you quarter it. And then you'd fold it, she left me. So I take the right side and bring it to the left halfway for all the right reasons. I take the right side and then, I don't know, man. Folding techniques. What do you want from me? Isn't that so much better? You know, I used to have a backpack and then I got filled with crap. And now I don't know what to do with it. Reliquary. Evil craft spikes. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. So the blood infuser uses blood to infuse certain things. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit later. So for these quests, vengeful spirits appear whenever I kill a creature. That'll just happen. We'll see it because I got the I got the ring equipped. Capturing spirits is kind of big. I have the focus. I got to make this box switching ender chest and two potions of weakness, which means I got to go to the nether. 
Seems like I'm kind of netherlocked right now. There was another thing we could do. So this ring here, you can toggle it. And toggling gives me a massive amount of buffs, haste, freaking speed, invisibility, jump boost, it's OP. And it spawns spirits. Right now, the spirits that are spawning right there are underneath me. So when the spirits disappear, when they despawn, they do they do a tick of damage to me. And then uh, I don't get anything from it. So unfortunately, it just doesn't work right now. Vengeance, focus. It captures the spirits and puts them in a box. That's all I know. That's all I know. Okay, so we're going to go to the nether. Because I'm locked outside of the nether right now. Know what I'm saying? Do I have the flint steel on me? Keep The blood extractor is always going to be in my inventory. Because we got to collect that blood. Now, the big negative is I want... I need looting on a weapon. And unfortunately, I don't have looting on a weapon. Origins of Darkness? <laughs> Origins of Darkness? Why, what did you say? There's also the Occultism mod. So, Occultism is also one of the mods I want to do. But, so, Evilcraft focuses on using blood. And maybe these weird, like, little me meta spirits, right? These are white ones. You'll see them in a little bit. Occultism focuses on using just, just the spirits in general. I don't know how it works. This is an occultism fire. It doesn't damage me. I don't know how it works. It's also confusing. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and make a portal real fast. Just go with another. You have to forgive me. It's been a very, very long time since I've built a nether portal. <laughs> How did I click? What? Oh, man. This is, what, this is what it's like in real life. Mining obsidian? Yeah. You're just kidding. It doesn't take that long. Oh, I did it first try. Holy. I don't have any cobblestone. I gotta go grab some. I got the Kerbebly stone. Wait a moment. Hold up. Wait a minute. You know, I got a bow, but I don't have any arrows. Should I make some? How do you make arrows? Flint, stick, feather. I don't have feathers. Three bones? Ah, oh, that's skeleton essence. Flint, stick, feather. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, well. <laughs> I've done this entire playthrough with no ranged weaponry and it's <laughs> it's, like it's getting annoying. <laughs> ranged weapons are so overpowered. Quest completed! I can't see nothing! Lag? Laforg? Laforg? What was that? Crimson Iron Ore! Okay, listen. It's been a long time since I played Minecraft. But it hasn't been that long, alright? Listen, see? Mm -hmm. He's coming for me. I remember when you play Minecraft, the first thing you do is you reinforce the nether portal from gas blasts. You gotta make sure the gas can't get line of sight of that portal. It also helps keep pigment out, because pigment will just walk through it and it's kind of annoying. I hear a baby? Why do gas sound like babies? Was that intentional? Ow. Brambles. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh man. Give me this. That's not right. Shapeless, shapeless, shapeless. Let's go. Crimson iron ore. Crimson iron ore from Silent Gear? What the fuck? It's always been OP? What have I been doing with my life? Hey, where's that boss? Boss mine? Is he... Is he mad at me? 
You looked at me wrong. I'm a gangster. I'm a straight up G. The gangster life is a life for me. Shooting people by day. So drugs by night. Being a gangster is very really tight. I can't finish that song. I don't know if you know Hollywood Halo, but that's Hollywood Halo. Ow. Oh, look at the little baby. He's chilled. He's chilled. He doesn't know what to do. So you can see these little... Those little... Those are spirit slimes. Ventral spirits. I just mined the block. I don't know how to kill them. And when they disappear, they're going to hurt me. So that's where I'm at. Why... All the ores is such a dumb mod. It makes me mad. <laughs> I just, I'm so sick of all of these damn ores everywhere I gotta deal with. Ah. Ah. See, I'm gonna take damage because eventual spirits are disappearing. I just broke armor? These bastards. Who do they think they are? What is this? Scoria from Create? We're gonna get a little, little, little nether exploration. Little... Like an exploration, isn't that cool? Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of mods in this mod pack that increase biomes and stuff and make biomes cooler and stuff, and stuff and stuff. One of them gives the Nether biome more stuff, more uh, more more Nether, more biomes, Nether biome, more biome. Bentiote, bentiot, bentonite. How do you pronounce it? glowstone? When's the last time I got me some glowstone, brother? Uh. When I was just a lad, my grandmother bought me a cute little toy. Silver bells hanging on a string. She told me it was my ding-a-ling-a-ling. Hey, ding a ling My ding a ling Caught me playing with my ding a ling <laughs> Does nobody know the music? Oh man, I could I could just go, dude. What is this in? Burning Blossom. What are we in the Nether to do? That's the question. I'm on fire. Ah, uh, fire, fire blossom. Hmm. I don't like this place. Ah, uh, these brambles do a crap ton of damage to my armor. I am very unarmored. What does this say? Solium ore! We needed that! Ah! 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 That's the sound I make when I take damage. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, there's that dude. I was wondering about him. I wanted to go kill him and take his loot. Excuse me. Mr. Guy, can you and I be friends? You know what I should have done? I should have marked where the portal was because I'm fucking lost. <laughs> oh, it's right over there. <laughs> Excuse me. There it is. Press the J key. Zoom in. Right click waypoints, create waypoint, portal, save. Genius. Ooh. Our goal for this episode is to go talk to that guy. See how he feels about his existence in this world. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, maybe it would be my best interest to not. At the same time, though, I could. He has a pickaxe. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Is he a pickman? He has a full set of diamond armor. Oh, he fucking dealt all my HP in one hit. I 
died. Damn it! <laughs> I knew I was gonna die. Ah. I played a mod pack with one of my buddies, and uh, he didn't like it because it was too hard. My honest opinion? It is a little difficult. Bro, can I put a waypoint just in the nether? Can I just do that? What if I made a nether base? Now that is an idea. How much longer do I have this buff for? Can I just hover over there? A minute? Let's go. Attempt number two. How much HP does he got left? Half. Each one of my strikes does three damage. Get wrecked, Miranda. You know nothing. <laughs> hey, what the heck? How does it go there? What the heck? I wish I could do something about this vengeful spirit, but I can't because I'm weak. Hmm. I think there's more crap in my inventory. Give me three rewards from Corel Tombstone. Animal fat. Humanoid flesh. Norman the really cool? The game wants me to kill things? I'm all for it, man. If I press the N key, I can see my death right here. Remove. Thank you. Brambles. You know, these reward boxes for Krill Tombstone, they don't actually do anything. Oh. I stand corrected. They're gonna be Tombstone Soulbound. Who even knows what that is? Because I don't. What is this? Bloodstain. So this is one of the things that came out with, uh, with Evil Craft. <gasps> no, what happened? I ruined it. <laughs> I was supposed to collect it. So apparently you're supposed to be able to use that tool to collect bloodstains. And bloodstains appear when animals take fall damage. Or mobs take fall damage specifically. It'd be cool if I could jump off and take fall damage and make a bloodstain. What's this thing? What's this thing? What's that thing? Oh, he's fucking dead. Ned Nederman. <laughs> Talking shit, he's pissed. Yes, I don't want that. I'll take some Bentite because I don't have any Bentite. Bing, bing, bing. You know how many levels I lost when I died there? I went from being the coolest guy on the planet to being just another guy. Did I misclick? Ah, you motherfucker. You little pig looking ass. Trying to kill me. My mom said I was too cool for school, so she never let me go. I'm just kidding. I dropped out of school at the age of three. Why? All the teachers tried to play her hate. I me. Mean, oh. My rhymes are cool, just like doing cocaine. My rhymes are hot, like a burning flame. Cisco is my homie. He's a gangster, too. Me and Cisco are the leaders of the g Why is there a chicken in here? Enderman? Ah, brambles. Enderman? Ah, brambles. You hear those little pig bastards making pig noises? Wither skull fragments. Wither skeleton weeks. Instead of it just being a random, incredibly rare chance for you to get the wither skeleton skull, you just gotta kill a little bit and then you can just make it. It's just, it just makes it a lot easier, man. Feathery diamond boots of intelligence. Plus 4 mana regen, 5 armor, 5 armor toughness, plus 19% knockback resistance, 35% speed. Holy cow. Oh, hey, guy. Come here. 
Thanks, dude. I appreciate the forbidden ender pearl fragments. It does the same thing the other mod does, but not as cool. Come here, you little guest. That's what I thought. He gave me a gas here because he was crying. Boo hoo. <laughs> so mean. We just hit an hour in the video. Let's go. Hold on. Before we end it, we're going to go kill this guy up here. He's making me mad. He told me my mom. He told my my, my mother is a wench. I need to take him out. This is what it's like. Jenna, how come you're not cutting the video? I don't know. I've been going off, dog. Where you at, you little bastard? Isabel the Blonde has awoken. Wallace has a proper sword. Wallace is stupid. You think this is punk? Get off of my land. This land is my land. Wallace's intelligent shield of iron. Black Link projectile deals 21% of the damage back to zero. This item's durability ignores this item ignores 14% of the ability damage. Increase maximum mana, armor, and knockback resistance. Oh yeah, look at me. Sword and dagger, dude. It makes no sense. Let's go. Jedog, you should do one of the mana mods. I really should. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.